guys, Tim and Dr. Shaz here from Street Science. We're here celebrating National Science Week with all of you. Now, I've noticed that Dr. Shaz, you have brought along some very sugary drinks and a few little sugary mm. snacks as well. Do you have an experiment in mind today? Well, Tim, I thought that maybe we should do a you know, classic favourite experiment. Classic Let's try and experiment. do the Mentos and Coke Geyser. Geyser. The one that like... Oh, yeah, oh, it's going to be great. Okay. Now, well. Tim, I've done this experiment before, but mm. I don't actually know how it works. How it works. So, a... do you know the, the science behind Mentos yeah, and Coke? Not, you know a little bit. You've probably had lots of soft drinks before. Any sort of soft drink or tonic or carbonated water, any sort of carbonated drink, they pressurise those drinks. They push lots of carbon dioxide gas carbon inside them. Dioxide. Now, if you've ever opened up a can or even if we shook this a little bit, a lot of that carbon dioxide oh. gas starts to come out of the solution. I did this over the weekend. Mm -hmm. I got the massive, like a can of Coke or a bottle of Coke like this, and I shook it up really hard. I dropped it downstairs a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And when I opened it up, it kind of just fizzed everywhere. It bubbled everywhere. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, on the inside of our bottles here, there's some little imperfections in the surface. So imagine Ooh. if we zoomed in, it'd be a little bit rough. And when you are shaking it, those rough little bits act as what we call nucleation sites. Nucleation yeah. sites. And that allows the carbon dioxide to come out of solution and attach to those nucleation sites. So when you open the bottle, it can push all the liquid up and cause Whoa. it to spray everywhere. So how does Mentos do that to Coke? So Mentos, what Mentos does, it can do, two, do, has two things to it. So one of the things, it has lots of those tiny little imperfections. We can't see them, they're too small for our eyes. Yeah. But if we were to zoom in on these Mentos with a microscope, they look a bit like the dimples on golf balls. Oh, There's I've many, seen that. Or yeah. the little, little bumps and pieces The little pieces bumpy in bits. It? Yeah, so those yeah. bumpy bits, they act as those nucleation sites. Oh. They allow the carbon dioxide to come out of solution and cause that spray. Now the other thing about oh. Mentos is they're nice and heavy so they drop right to the bottom oh. of our Coca-Cola. So we get more bubbles? Yes, yeah, so we get more bubbles. They don't yeah, get I in the road of those bubbles and the bubbles can come Oh, I love up. this. Now, Tim, I, I saw this online. You think mm. we can use this for our Mentos and Coke yeah, explosion so as well? Yeah, so it's one of our little special, what do we call them? Geyser tubes. Ooh. So what we can do here, we can take the lid off and open it up and we can load this up with Mentos, I like, should we try can, and see how yeah. many we can fit in how there? How many can we fit in here? Let's, so I've got let's a, give it a go. I've got a Mentos here. If I look yep. really closely, I can't see any of those bumps, yeah, but, but I, if we I had trust a microscope, that you have them there. Yep. One Mentos. Two. Two Mentos. Three. three. Oh, it's going to be a great oh. guy. Four. Oh. oh, there's still more space. Keep going. Five. five. Oh. This is getting dangerous. Oh, I reckon we can get six in there. Six? Should we you reckon go one seven? more? One more? Seven. All right, seven. seven. Oh. <laughs> Almost went away. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Seven Mentos in our amazing guys. All right. All right. This is going to be now. great. <laughs> if you notice, this little tube here, if I hold it up to the camera, it has a tiny little hole in the top. So when this explosion goes off, when this reaction starts all of that coke in there is going to spray through a narrow hole which oh. is going to make it go because really you're increasing high. the pressure inside yeah because right? pressure is all about that force and yes. area so we're reducing the area oh. and that pressure is going to be really big inside so the more pressure we have in here the higher it's going to jump yeah. right yeah so That's when we're we ready want. the other thing i'll be able to do is at the bottom here i'll be able to pull this red part and allow all of them to go oh, in. Okay. This sounds great. Now, do you think we should do this indoors in the studio here today? Yeah, do you think, uh, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if Science D would be very happy with that. <laughs> so why don't we take a break, let's go outside and let's set this up. Yeah, all right, yeah. let's go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, Tim! That was amazing! Oh, that was so good! Oh, oh wow! Can we do it again? 
Again. Oh, do you have any more Coca Cola? No. That's right. Next street science party we have. Yeah. We are definitely doing this. Oh, again. I get the, is that the geyser kit? Because you can get that as a street science party, can't you? You can. A geyser totally kit. Can. That'd be awesome. I'd love to have that at my birthday <laughs> yeah, party. Yeah, I would too. Now, if you do get that and you do want to do this Coke and Mentos experiment at home, there's lots of other things you could test out. You could test out. How many Mentos works the best? Ooh, what about I did some like our seven. That was pretty good. Different types of co you could try the difference between Coke and Diet Coke. We use the Diet Coke. The reason we use that was just a little bit less sugar, so it was a bit less sticky, easier to clean up afterwards. What do you think would happen if you used hot Coke and cold Coke? Hot Coke and cold Coke. Mm. Mm, I wonder so if the temperature. Maybe it's an experiment that our junior science could do at oh, home. I would love to hear what happens if you try this at home, yeah. guys. Lots of things you can play around with. You could even measure how, try and measure how high it goes. Oh, be interesting. Do yes. it up against a wall or something. Or even measure how much of the Coke comes out. So you can compare the volume of Coke Ooh, in yes. the bottle before and afterwards. Uh, well, I think we've got some more experimenting to do, Tim. Mm. I hope you guys have had a great time with the Mentos Geyser experiment. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time in the Street Science Lab. See you. Bye. Bye.